that the majority of Jewish people in the diaspora and in Israel have for a long time favored a two-state solution to this problem. It's a national question. It's a land question. This is also the expressed view of the United States Congress, of American Jewry, of the United Nations, of the European Union, of the, really, and of the Palestine Liberation Organization. It's what the majority of people involved in this view want. Why can't they get what we all want? Why is it made impossible? Because in both communities, a veto is held by the party of God. In the first case, by the Messianic settlers, who think that by establishing fait accompli by violence and stealing other people's land in the name of the Jewish people and in the name of God, they can help to bring on the Messiah. If, they, if only, they say, we get all the Arabs out of this area and all the Jews in gathered, then the Messiah would come, finally, after such a long, sweaty wait. I believe Palestine was the entire area covering Israel and Jordan. I wonder if you could tell me at what point the Palestinians went to Jordan, and I realized they were kicked out when they blew up some passenger jets or something. And uh, I, do you, are you familiar with that? Uh, yes, I think more than you are. Um, by the sound of it. Um, well, go ahead. Basically revolved around the Palestinians that were from Israel. I don't understand if the, uh, there's 22 Arab states, why they have to take over Israel. Uh-huh. Um, well, there are 49 American states. If someone told you you couldn't, apart from the one you're sitting in, if someone told you actually we would rather have your bit of Los Angeles for ourselves, from now on, this will only be this you can only be a landholder or a householder here if you profess the let's say Muslim or Buddhist faith otherwise get out this bits ours you're happy to go to Colorado on that basis I don't think so and I think if you think about it you wouldn't insult anyone else by treating them their society or their country as as disposable as that the Palestinians do not feel uh, that God gave the land to someone else and they therefore have to be flung out and I completely agree with them. Uh, they have every right to resist that ridiculous proposal.